SCP-1642 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All discovered instances are to be stored in Containment Locker C243 at Site-24. Access to SCP-1642 will only be granted to personnel of clearance level 3 or higher. Written permission from personnel with clearance level 3 or higher is not adequate for access. Description SCP-1642 is a collection of 500 mg chewable tablets. These tablets vary in color and flavor. The recorded colors are violet, cyan, pink, lime green, and yellow. The flavors are grape, blue raspberry, watermelon, green apple, and banana, respectively. However, the effects remain the same. SCP-1642 comes in packets of six and are contained in a sleeve. The packaging reads, Dr. Wondertainment's Instatine Tablets, TM. The backing reads as following. Hey kids, have you ever wanted to know what it feels like to be a grown-up? And adults, have you ever wanted to feel young again? Well now you can get both with Dr. Wondertainment's Instatine Tablets, TM. Just pop one of these chewable tablets into your mouth and begin munching away. Within 20 minutes you'll find you're living the life of a teen once again. Warning, only take one tablet at a time, do not take if pregnant, Dr. Wondertainment is not responsible for any existential crisis or loss of life that may occur. When ingested by either a person of age 20 or older, or a child 14 or younger, the subject will undergo a quick transformation into a stage of late pubescence, approximately 18 or 19 years of age. How this process occurs is not understood. However, the change is extensive. Fat is moved around the body, bones become less brittle, muscles become more toned, and hair is regrown. Analysis of blood samples have shown that hormone levels are typical of late pubescent. These changes will re revert within 12 hours. Taking more than one tablet results in additional changes to areas of the brain connected with aging and maturity, as well as the hypothalamus and pituitary glands. Typically, these will cause anxiety attacks, an uncontrollable libido, mental disorders involving self-image, most commonly anorexia nervosa, immature or reckless behavior, and the appearance of other physical diseases associated with puberty, such as acne vulgaris. The severity of these symptoms is directly correlated to the amount of the overdose, with subjects ingesting four or more tablets becoming comatose due to extensive brain damage. These changes are irreversible once the subject reverts. Testing has not been conducted over a long enough time period to determine if children who have had these symptoms due to overdose will lose them at the end of natural puberty. Pregnant women ingesting SCP-1642 will experience its effects. However, the fetus, SCP-1642 will have no effect on an embryo as placenta is required for the correct transfer of chemical agents. The fetus will also be affected by SCP-1642. This will inevitably cause the death of the mother as the fetus rapidly expands. Once the fetus becomes, has become a late pubescent teen, it will remain alive until it ceases to be affected by SCP-1642, at which point it will die. Note, however, that while in its late teen state, the fetus is not mentally developed and it will behave as such. Cross-testing between several different temporal-based anomalies is currently pending the approval of the Site-24 director. These include, but are not limited to, SCP-559, SCP-983, and SCP-1080. What do you want to be when you grow up? Item number, SCP-4046. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4046 is kept in a secure object's locker. Requests for children for use in experiments with SCP-4046 are to be submitted to and approved by at least th two Level 3 personnel. All subjects used are to be amnesticized following the conclusion of the experiments. Description SCP-4046 is a microcomputer kit with a similar appearance to the Telmac 1800 series, with the W key on its keyboard appearing in a stylized cursive serif font. A faded yellow sticker with the phrase, Proof of Concept, Not for Manufacturer, Art and D Department, is present on the bottom of the object. 
when SCP-4046 is activated by a subject between the ages of 4 and 12, activations by, by subjects between ages 12 and 16 will inconsistently work. SCP-4046 does not function if activated by subjects above the age of 16. A message will appear on its screen, reading, What do you want to be when you grow up? When an answer is typed and submitted to SCP-4046, the subject will be immediately be rendered unconscious momentarily. Upon waking, subjects report having experienced decades of time working in their chosen profession, typically beginning at the moment of employment and ending at retirement. This experience is reported as extremely vivid and realistic, but all subjects report being aware this was a simulation. In addition, subjects have reported experiencing a personal life such as having a significant other, raising children, etc., alongside their work life. It is currently unknown if the means by which SCP-4046 imparts this experience are achieved through prediction, simulation, or projection. Observations Below is a list of performed experiments using SCP-4046. Subject, Nathan. Profession, Doctor. Notes Subject reported a career spanning 45 years as a family physician. Subject, Alice. Profession, witch. Upon being awoken, the subject thaumaturgically transported herself to an unknown location outside of Site 55. Whereabouts remain unknown. Oscar. Profession, wrestler. Subject reported a career spanning 24 years before prior to being forced into early retirement due to a spinal injury. Subject did not express regrets in his choice of profession. Subject, Jasmine. Profession, firefighter. Subject claimed to be put off from the line of work after describing their failure to save several people, but decided that they would still want to pursue the career. Subject, David. Profession, basketball player. Subject awoke in an agitated state reported having an initially successful career, followed by a sharp decline caused by alcoholism and methamphetamine addiction. Subject, Kelly. Profession, veterinarian. Subject awoke weeping uncontrollably, mourning the death of innumerable animals. Due to the subject's hysterical state, sedatives and amnestics were immediately administered. Subject, Eric. Profession, happy. Notes. SCP-4046's anomalous properties did not activate. Dr. Wondertainment's Dr. Playtime Kit for Kiddos, featuring Dado, TM. SCP-4949, Object Class, Safe. SC Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4949 is contained within a, in a standard, secure storage locker within Site-42. Requested testing procedures must may be submitted to the project supervisor for approval. Description: SCP-4949 is a children's toy doctor kit, including a white lab coat and plastic tools such as a reflex hammer, surgical forceps, and a stethoscope. See Addendum 4949-CL for the complete list. The plastic hick doctor's bag from which all the components of the anomaly were recovered bears the branding tag. Dr. Wondertainment and Dado present Dr. Playtime for the Kiddos. C. When a child under the age of 10 wears the lab coat and utilizes any of the component pieces of SCP-4949 with the desired outcome of performing a related medical test or procedure on a living human, the attempt will be successful. This success ranges from being able to record accurate data regarding the subject's vital functions to performing coronary bypass surgery. Notably, no components outside of 4949 are needed to perform any of the steps of these tasks. The following document is included in SCP-4949's packaging. Dr. Wondertainment and Dado proudly present Dr. Playtime for the Kiddos, TM. Have you ever wanted to be a doctor just like those TV shows or maybe even like your mom and dad? In that case, congratulations! 
Our doctor playtime kit for the kiddos, TM, will make your dreams come true. Helping your brother with a scraped knee? No problem. Your sister lost a tooth? Pop it right back in. Mom needs a kidney transplant? You got it. Dada, Dada needs a triple bypass? Yes, 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 and yes. The world is your oyster with Dr. Wondertainment and Dados. Dr. Playtime Kit for the kiddos, TM. Seeing as I am only a doctor in whimsy and Dado is an expert in medicine, Dado is not licensed to practice medicine in any capacity, we decided to put our heads together for you all to enjoy. But this wouldn't be a Wondertainment product without a few instructions. That being said, I'll let my friend Dado tell you all about how to maximize your fun with your newest object of fascination. Disclaimers by Dado. Dr. Playtime Kit for Kiddos, only for kiddos, age baby to nine. Dr. People Know Where Dr. Playtime Kit for the Kiddos is only for the kiddos. Dr. Wonder and Dado Know Responsible for Misplaced Organs or of Body During Playtime. By read words here, you agree no refund, to boycott, protest, honor duel, blood feud, right campaign against Dr. Wonder and Dado. Your friends, Dr. Wondertainment, practitioner of wackiness and whimsy, Dado, owner of VHS rental and short-term loan. No small print here, people. Move along, move along. Dado is not licensed to practice medicine in any capacity. Addendum 4949-CL, complete list. 1. Plastic canula. 2. Plastic curettes. 4. Plastic scalpels. 1. Pair of plastic metzabomb scissors. 1. Pair of plastic dissecting forceps. 1. Pair of plastic tissue forceps. 1. Pair of plastic mosquito forceps. 1. Pair of plastic needle holders. 1. Pair of plastic suture needle. 1. Plastic repercussion free mallet. 1. Plastic bone saw. 4 plastic syringes, 1 plastic otoscope, 1 rubber and plastic reflex mallet, 1 rubber and plastic stethoscope. Addendum 4949-TL Test Log Abridged SCP-4949 Testing Log Test 1. Baseline Anomalous Properties Test Patient and Ailment D1839 Suffering a Fractured Left Fibula Attending Physician and Surgeon Dr. Lucas Whitehall attending. Joshua Whitehall, age 7, operating. Procedure. Surgeon instructed to set the broken bone. Test results. Surgeon utilized the plastic bone saw to cut through the skin of D1839's left leg, exposing the bone. During this process, surgeon utilized one plastic syringe to administer a shot to D1839's left thigh. Paralytic effect noted immediately following injection. Surgeon remarked that this was so D1839 would stop squirming. Surgeon utilized plastic metzenbaum scissors to cut away excess flesh surrounding the visible bone break. Surgeon then used their hands to set the bone. Surgeon commented on difficulty of handing bone due to slickness, but completed the procedure after six minutes. Attending physician directed surgeon to close 1839's wounds. Surgeon subsequently utilized plastic suture needle to sew o surgery wound shut. Notes. Post-surgical x-rays revealed that not, not only were the tibia and fibula transposed in position, but they had appeared to be fused into a single contiguous bones at two separate contact points. D1839 reports no loss of mobility or balance, though has commented that their leg creaks more than it used to. When debriefed, Joshua described the procedure as fun, indicating that he enjoyed the game. Notably, at no point was D1839's discomfort during the procedure acknowledged by Joshua. Test number four, extent of restorative properties. Patient in ailment, D3317, suffering from an inoperable brain tumor. Attending physician and surgeon, Dr. Lucas Whitehall attending. Joshua Whitehall, age 7, operating. Procedure. Surgeon instructed to anesthetize D3317 and remove the tumor. Surgeon utilized two plastic syringes to administer shot to D3317's left and right thighs. Paralytic effect noted immediately following injection. No anesthetization effects noted on the patient. 
Surgeon proceeded to utilize stethoscope to listen to various places on D3317's head for three minutes. Subject inserted one curette into the patient's left nostril, inserting the tool 15 centimeters into the nasal cavity before withdrawing the tool, which was trailing a five centimeter mass of tumor cells. Subsequent imaging and blood tests confirmed the absence of a tumor cells within D3317's brain. Note. D3317 remains within Site-42's long-term care facility in a vegetative state. Test number five, extensive restorative properties. Patient and ailment, D8997, suffering from advanced coronary artery disease. Attending physician and surgeon, Dr. Lucas Whitehall attending. Joshua Whitehall, age seven, operating. Surgeon directed to paralyze patient and perform coronary bypass surgery. Surgeon utilized one syringe to administer a paralytic injection. Surgeon subsequently utilized stethoscope to listen to the patient's chest and neck over the course of one minute before utilizing the bone saw to bisect D8997's neck between the axis and, third and C3 vertebrae over the course of seven minutes. Surgeon placed patient's head aside and utilized tissue forceps to remove the patient's lungs through the neck by the way of clamping down and pulling on the patient's trachea. Surgeon followed by withdrawing the stomach via severed esophagus. Total remo organ removal recorded at 12 minutes. Surgeon subsequently reached through D8997's neck to withdraw his heart. Subject's heart remained attached to blood vessels. Surgeon utilized one scalpel to cut away a 0.6 grams mass of tissue from the patient's heart. Surgeon identified the removed portion as the sick part. Surgeon returned lungs and stomach to the patient's torso cavity before replacing the patient's head and sewing it back in place utilizing suture needle. Notes. Despite the arrangement of respiratory and digestive systems no longer linking to the subject's throat, D8997 experiences no difficulty eating or excreting and is reportedly only mild discomfort while taking deep breaths. Further testing confirms full recovery from coronary artery disease. Test number 17. Extent of anomalous capabilities. Patient and ailment. D3824. No known ailments. Attending physician and surgeon. Dr. Lucas Whitehall attending. Joshua Whitehall, age 7, operating. Procedure. Surgeon directed to test patient for any ailments, then to increase the patient's muscle mass by 50%. Due to subject's criminal background, D3824 was restrained by with wrist and ankle cuffs to the procedure table. Test results. Surgeon utilized otoscope, stethoscope, and reflex mallet to perform a basic physical on patient over the course of five minutes. Surgeon identified undiagnosed Huntington's disease but noted no further ailments. Patient then proceeded to utilize all four syringes to deliver a series of shots to the patient's chest and throat over the course of eight minutes. Surgeon halted process after the second injection, claiming that he was bored with the game. Additionally, the surgeon cited that D824 did not appear to be enjoying the game. Dr. Whitehall incentivized surgeon to continue procedure. D3824 observed to begin hyperventilating and heavily perspiring over 30 seconds following the final injection. Subject's skin observed to bulge and split over the following 6 minutes as muscles swelled up and burst through the skin. Following the reaction, D3824's musculature was observed to have been increased roughly by 350% in mass and over 800% in volume. Notes. D3824 remains in Site-42 long-term care facility in a chemically induced vegetative state. Addendum 494917-L SCP-4949 Test 17's Transcribed Audio Log Begin Log We'll use this one to make him lay still. Then, um, I, I don't really know how much bigger 50% is in muscles. Well, just try to make his muscles a bit bigger all over his body. One and a half times their normal mass will be, well, it'll be noticeably bigger. All right then, I guess this one's next. The next shot we'll c combine it with, uh, and we'll start a 
What's it called, da uh, Dr. Whitehall? We talked about it the other day. A chain reaction. It will start a chain reaction. Go on. Right. The next shot will start a chain reaction with this one. D3824's heavy ragged breathing becomes audible. I'm getting bored of this game. Why do I have to keep playing it with them? Joshua, please continue administering the procedure we discussed. But this isn't fun anymore. And, and look, I, I don't think he likes the game either. Can't we stop, Dad? Joshua, listen. You were... I selected you for this project because, well, it wouldn't be right to have anyone else's kid go through this. I'm here with you, Joshua. I promise it's okay. Please continue. D3824's breathing becomes extraneously labored, and Joshua is heard crying. <gasps> It's okay. There's nothing to cry about, son. Dad, please. Joshua, stop crying and continue the procedure. L listen to him. He he doesn't want to play. Can't can't we stop? Joshua Michael Whitehall. If you don't stop crying and get over there and do as you're told, I will give you a reason to cry. <laughs> no, don't. Please. Don't, don't, don't do it, Dad. <laughs> Joshua is heard continuing sobbing, and D3824's breathing becomes irregular. There, there. Those two will make his muscles big. D3824 begins screaming, and Joshua can be heard screaming in the background as well. Addendum 4949-PL SCP-4949 Personnel Change Request Joshua Whitehall is to be administered amnestics and returned to the custody of Christina Sullivan. Approved. Dr. Lucas Whitehall is to be removed from the SCP-4949 project. Denied. Dr. Lucas Whitehall is to be administered amnestics and removed from the SCP-4949 project. Denied. Official Ethics Committee Memorandum from Dr. Kiyoshi Inada, Site-42 Psychologist and Ethics Committee Liaison to Dr. Lucas Whitehall. Subject, Joshua. Dear Dr. Whitehall, the investigation into your unauthorized addition of Joshua to the list of test subjects for SCP-4949 and the subsequent manipulation of the subject list has been concluded. I shouldn't need to tell you, doctor, that your actions during the tests didn't do you any favors either. However, seeing as a request to have Joshua removed from the project, and return to his mother's custody also came from you, we are inclined to show lenience. You will be censored for a period of six months, but your expertise in directing tests of SCP-4949 have been determined to be of significant value, and as such, you will not be separated from the project. Further testing will occur with properly selected test subject, Further abuses of power will not be tolerated, Doctor. Regards, Dr. Kiyoshi Inada.